This is the Garvey Magnetic Drill Press. Just comes in a plain brown box. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get the operation instructions. They give you a coolant bottle. You can put oil or water or whatever you're going to use to cool the bit with. There's a bracket that allows you to mount it to the drill. However, you have to supply your own hose to go from there to where the bit is. Three drill bits are included. Three Allen keys are included. A strap, an adapter piece for the chuck with the key and replacement motor brushes as well as the three handles that screw in here that allow you to move the drill up and down. This pulls 1550 watts and runs it up to 500 RPM and it's adjustable speed. It has 13,000 newtons of magnetic adhesion that's about 2900 pounds so round it off to about 3,000. I'm not going to be demonstrating that. This is uh, steel, but it's pretty thin gauge. And it might warp it or damage it if I turn that function on. You can turn the magnet on with the switch there. This here operates the drill itself. There is a fuse. And again, your speed adjustment right there. It can cut up to a 50 millimeter hole in depth and 16 millimeters in diameter. That, of course, is dependent upon the bit that you put in there. You can put a larger bit and drill larger holes if you want. So kind of the idea of this is that it's going to sit um, on whatever surface you want. You can use it like this. You can use it probably at 90 degrees because of the ad uh, magnetic adhesion of it and just stick it to a surface and have it operate that way. Uh, let's go ahead and install the chuck in it and we'll continue. There are two hex set screws in the head of the drill here. You loosen those using the included Allen wrench and then the adapter piece as you see has two flats on it and you put those so the face of it will be hit by each of the set screws and then tighten them down. The chuck then spins on right over here like that. Run that up. You probably want to take it out and tighten that with a wrench into the chuck first and then mount it as a unit up in there. But I wanted to show you separate pieces so you know exactly what you're doing. To install the coolant bottle holder you can loosen one of these using the included Allen key. I've already done that to save some time. Put it through the hole and now you can go ahead and screw that back in. Get it lined up. Put that in place and then put the Allen key in there and go ahead and tighten that up. And that is the finished product. To install the handle, they're threaded and there are holes. So just take it and screw it in. And just go around and do the other two handles in the same fashion. And once you do that, now you can see how it operates. Simple like that. And now we can go ahead and operate the drill just so you see how it goes, what it sounds like. You turn it on with the switch up here. Again, that's your magnet, which I'm not going to be showing. This is at the lowest speed. It kind of gets up to speed and then settles. You can adjust the speed. Simply by turning the knob. The chuck operates like any other drill chuck. You loosen it by turning. Put your drill bit in. I'm going to put it all the way up. Screw it down this way until it's tight. Like that. And then you're going to use the key to go in here and lock that down. Like that. And there are multiple holes. I recommend you go around just to make sure it's cinched down nice and tight. Because if that bit comes loose... It can either get stuck in the material or 
possibly cause a hazard. And to actually drill, you want to put the piece in place, find out where you're going to drill. Right there is fine. I'm only going to drill part way because this is not the right setup for this, but we'll see another hole appear over there. I'll go ahead and turn it on. Right there that made it an absolute cinch so again if you have this with the magnet turned on it will be adhered to the surface and stay in place for you but it certainly makes drilling material and of course this was just wood you can do metal and anything else and put whatever bits you want in there but it made it really easy just to you know drive this up and down of course you want to make sure that your coolant bottle is connected you'll have to supply your own hose like i said and remember that the drill head moves up and down so you want to make sure there's enough slack that it will hit when it bottoms out and not pull the line out and make a mess so once again this was the garvey magnetic drill press if you'd like to purchase this item i'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on amazon Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.